Okay, let's get the third one done here. Um, this is going to be uh, video number 50. And I'm solving the last problem here. Okay, um, so let's go. We need to find the area and the perimeter. We're given um, a triangle that's isosceles. Uh, obviously, the base is 6. should make the distinction at your age. And I need to um, simply... Um, add the triangle plus the rectangle. So this third one turns out to be easier than the other two uh, and uh, should be able to do this problem now. So first I'll find the area of the um, isosceles triangle over here working again half of six is three. There's your hypotenuse. So I have four squared minus three squared which is 16 minus 9, which equals 7. And I put the hat on both sides, and I find out that I have a height of radical 7. Next, 1 half base times height is uh, 1 half 6 times radical 7. Okay? And when I put that all together, the uh, area of this particular um, isosceles triangle is 3 radical 7. You should be able to do that fairly easily now as we work along. I can't do the uh, area of the rectangle because I don't know this side here. I'll call it X, but I do know that the diagonal is 8. There we go again with the um, theorem of uh, Pythagoras. So it's H squared minus 6 squared equals X squared. That means 64 minus 36 equals x squared equals 28. Take both sides. x equals radical 28. Simplify. That's uh, radical 4 times radical 7. That was in your exercises last week. But it turns out that the side equals 2 radical 7. Oh, okay. So the side here is 2 radical 7. So 2 radical 7 times 6 is uh, 12 radical 7. Add them all together, and the area is 15 radical 7 square units. And uh, since I have all the sides here, I have 4. 4, that takes care of the isosceles triangle on the top. There's the 6. Um, on the bottom, and we just figured out uh, the two sides over here. So 2 radical 7 plus 2 radical 7, okay? Got the sides there, and I end up with uh, 8, 14 plus 4 radical 7, and I'll factor like I did before, and I'll certainly be talking a lot about that, and that's in linear units the perimeter. Okay? So there's your area in square units and your perimeter in linear units. Okay, so I want to uh, take a couple minutes here since I have time on this video, having taken care of that. I mentioned that I wanted to talk a little bit about um, conversion, and because it took so long to do these videos, I'm going to leave that out and deal with it tomorrow, and I thought right now I'd uh, introduce uh, something that I was doing before, and I want to simplify all the work because it gets tedious doing all this math if you don't have to do it. So let's make some equilateral triangles. One, one, one. Two, two, two. Three, 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 four, 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 and I'm not making them according to size. It's unnecessary. All of, most of you are paying attention, understand what I'm doing, and I'm saying to myself, there's got to be a way to use scale factors to figure out the areas of this guy, right? So um, um, obviously, scale factors are going to work. I'm not dealing with the height now. I'm dealing with the, um, with the area. And so I'm going to do what 
probably the uh, original mathematicians did so many centuries ago. Uh, just going to make a list and find the area and look for a pattern. So let's see what happens. Well, we don't have to waste our time with this. Agree? Okay? And uh, uh, there's just no need to go over that. Uh, let's see what happens when we double the sides, what happens to the area. Well, we get 2 squared minus 1 squared equals uh, 4 um, minus 1, which equals 3, and then I square both sides. So I end up getting here, um, when I get the area here, I get 1 half times 2. I'm looking at the area now, not just the um, height. There's the height, radical 3, uh, times radical 3. Okay? And so when I do that, and I get radical 3. Hmm. So I'm compared. The radical 3, by the way, is never going to go away. So I got radical 3 over 4. And then radical 3. Hmm. Let's try 3 and see what happens. I'll do it over here, and uh, I'll erase this so we, we can focus on what we really want to do. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, again, I cut it in two, and I have 3 squared. I'm working fast now because I'm presuming that you understand uh, where I'm coming from, at least. And there it is. I need to find the height here. So that's 9 minus uh, 9 over 4 equals uh, h squared. Uh, that would be 36 over 4 uh, minus 9 over 4. And as we got that the other day, that would equal 27 over 4. And when I square everybody, I end up with a radical 27 over 2. But again, this simplification turns out to be so important. Radical 27 uh, equals uh, radical 9 times radical 3. I promised that radical 3 would go away over 2. And uh, then I end up getting um, over here uh, as my uh, height. I end up getting 3 over 2 radical 3. So I'm continuing to work here. And the reason I'm doing all this is so I don't have to do this all over again. So h equals 3 radical 3 divided by 2. Okay, 1 half uh, base, which here is 3, of course, uh, times um, 3, excuse me here, the base here is 3, and the height here is radical 3 over 2, so that would equal um, times 3 radical 3 over 2, and I end up with um, 9 over 4 uh, radical 3, okay? So I'm looking at this and I'm taking a look at this. I'm trying to see if I can find a pattern here. Let's try the next one. We did four, but didn't we just do that? We'll do it again anyway. Uh, we just did that in the previous video. By the way, uh, yeah, this is 48, so we're adding a new one here. So there we go. We cut it in half again, as we've done so many times. And I just did this, but I'll do it again. Uh, I like to repeat myself, so when I take the radical over here, I end up with 2 radical uh, 3. As mentioned before, that never goes away, so it's 1 half uh, 4 times 2 radical 3, and this turns out to be 4 um, radical 3, okay? I'm looking here, I'm looking to see what's going on here, and now I go to the number 5 over here. And I'm going to look at that, and again I cut it in two, and I get five squared minus five radical two squared uh, equals uh, h squared. There we go, 25 uh, minus uh, 25 over four. So that would be 100 over four. Again, I'm back in sixth grade. Don't we love sixth grade so much? Equals radical 75 over four. Okay, and then we asked you to do that, and we said that that equals uh, radical 25 times 3. Hell, you can put the 3 in there every time over the 4, and then this is going to equal uh, the height. Let's not get confused now. The height is 5 radical 3 over 4, and let's multiply that one out. I get 1 half. Uh, does this belong here? Yeah. I get 1 half base, which is 5 
times the height, which is 5 radical 3 uh, over 4. And I end up with um, 25 over 8 radical 3. So I want to do that. Write that over here. And I want to take a look at what I did. I have 25 radical 3 over 8. Okay, so what's going on here? Let's circle the answers that we got. In order to get from here to here, I had to multiply by 4. Do we agree? Okay. And in order to get from here to here, I had to multiply uh, this by 3, okay, over here, and this is 9. So uh, 9 times this equals this. Um, 4 times this equals this. Huh. Uh, 16 times this equals that. And uh, 25 times this um, times this. Uh, we, if we, uh, uh, 25 times this equals this. And it's beginning to look like, as we work along here, uh, that every time we do this math, it looks like the square of the scale factor is the number that's going to work. And uh, we should consider that. And uh, I'm just looking over this at 5 over 2. Um, uh, the, this number is not working here. Oh, how much time is left here? Okay. So uh, we're going to take a look at this one more time. And we get, uh, let's see, 5 minus 5 over 2 squared is 25 minus um, 25 over 4, which is 100 over 4, minus uh, 25 over 4, which is 75 over 4. And then I take the, uh, I take the simplification here, and I get radical 25 times 3, radical 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2, and there we go. That was the number that I got wrong, and I hope you see the pattern, okay? And I'm going to talk more about this before. You just take scale factor, and you end it up, and you multiply it by the original. Radical 3 over 4 times 4 is this. Radical 3 over 4 times 3 is this. We're just doing the, uh, we're just doing the perfect squares. 1 squared whoops, 2 squared, 3 squared. Over here, we have uh, 16, which is 4 squared. And when we multiply 16 times this, we come up with this. And when we multiply 25 times this, we come up with this. So it turns out that when similarity is involved, it's the square of the scale factor gives you the answer. I'll say that one more time. The square of the scale factor, here it's 2, here it's 3, here it's 4, here it's 5, gives you the answer that you're looking for. So I'm going to propose a problem now. Um, I don't have time. And um, I'm going to propose a problem like I did before. I'm going to do it quickly tomorrow. And then I'll talk more about conversion. But I just want to make sure that we're getting all the ideas down. I'm going to give you a... Um, a uh, pentagon, and I'm going to say that this is 5. I'm going to say 6 now, so we'll keep doing the numbers here. I'm going to say this is 6, and this is, uh, we'll let this equal 2. And I want you to find the uh, area for me and the uh, perimeter for me uh, doing the work easily, okay? And uh, here, I'll, um, I'll do it one more time. I'm going to make it even bigger over here. Okay, and I'll make this 3, and I'll make this 7, and I'm going to do both of these tomorrow, but very, or as you guys say, mad quick, and show you that um, it's very easy to do this, and um, just to find the areas uh, of each one, um, and uh, I'll just add uh, numbers here to make it easier, 
but the idea would be to find the area of the triangles adding to the trapezoid. And to make life even easier, let's just say the trapezoid has a height of, it's got to be, uh, let's see here, uh, we'll give the trapezoid a height of uh, 2. Height, okay, here, and here we'll give the trapezoid a height of 1. So we don't have to go through all the, all the numbers trying to figure out uh, the area. And I want to show you how easy these problems are uh, to do once you see the patterns. Okay, let's stop this one.